Hey, booze. Let's talk about a character in the Bible that we actually don't hear too much about. And she was actually also a queen. If you haven't guessed by now, it's Queen Vashti. So one day the king, King Xerxes, was having a party and he was in the men's section getting lit and Queen Vashti was in the women's section getting lit, right? So he's with all his boys in their section and he's like, you know what? I want y'all to see my baby. She's so bad. She's so beautiful. She is the queen and I'm gonna ask her to come here so y'all can all just gaze upon her beauty. So the officials are like, oh yeah, 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 we ready to see her. So Queen Vashti catches wind. She's like, uh-uh, I ain't coming over there. Tell him to come over here. Cause no, mm -mm, I ain't going over there with them. Immediately party over, party over. King Xerxes is really mad. He's like, I cannot believe she disrespected me in front of all my friends. Like that is so embarrassing. So now King Xerxes is really heated and party is done. He's talking to his government officials like, yo, I can't believe she just disrespected me in front of everybody at my palace, at my party. What should I do? The government officials are like, bro, you cannot let that slide. Like, absolutely not. Because guess what? If you let that slide, then all the women in the entire area are going to catch wind of all of this. And they're not going to listen to their husbands. They're going to be like, um, who are you talking to? Because Queen Vashti did not go to King Xerxes when she asked for him to, when he asked for her to come over. So no, I ain't going over there with you. And that cannot go down in the entire city. So absolutely not. So King Xerxes had no other choice but to find himself a new queen. Enter in Queen Esther. So Esther comes along and she auditions in order to become the next top queen of the kingdom. Quick background on Esther. Esther came from very humble beginnings. She was kind, sweet, considerate. She was raised by her uncle because she was actually an orphan. Esther also endured 12 months of beautification in order to be presented to the king. And I know that sounds glamorous and luxurious, but I just imagine that in the medieval times, taking out hair from your you-know-where was not as painless as it is today. And it's not always that painless even today. It was probably scrubbing dirt off of areas that you would just rather keep all in the dirt. And then what was they scrubbing with? Because they didn't have no loofah or, or any type of sponges at that time. Anyway, back to the story. Because Esther was sweet, humble, kind, and considerate, she really was everything that the king was looking for. Because if you think about it, she was everything that Vashti was not. You're probably wondering, what's the purpose of me telling you all this stuff? Number one, your pride is going to be your biggest downfall. Queen Vashti could have kept her position as queen if she would have just listened and not been proud. Number two, your beginnings do not define you. It's actually going to be used to help you get to where you're supposed to be. Love you.